Stunning Style and I have a new makeup tutorial for you today. I specifically created this makeup look to go with the Stunning Style Wardrobe Guide Winter Edition. It will coordinate with all of the outfits in the guide and to be honest this look will coordinate with any outfit you want to wear. It's a perfect neutral everyday eyeshadow look for cool skin tones who can't wear brown eyeshadow. I look terrible in brown eyeshadow. I love it. I love how it looks in other people. It makes my face look muddy. So I came up with this look to be able to have something that I can wear every day. Doesn't matter what I have on. I can switch out my lipsticks. It'll still look fantastic. Today I've chosen a bold red to wear with it because that's one of the colors in the Stunning Style Wardrobe Guide this winter. And I wanted to show you a coordinating look. Don't forget to subscribe below and click the little bell so that you receive notifications every time I upload a new video and you don't miss any new content. Also, please click the like button if you enjoy this tutorial. That helps me know what content you're enjoying and what you want to see more of. I've already started by applying foundation, my eyebrows, uh, eyeshadow primer, and lip color. I'm wearing Lip Sense Fly Girl with the Glossy Gloss. The first color I'm going to use is this white eyeshadow. You can use whatever color would make a great foundation based on your skin tone. Since it's winter I and I'm very fair and I haven't seen the sun in a few months, I'm extra fair right now. So I'm going to use this white. If it were summertime or if I had a little more color on my skin, I'd probably use a light pink like I've used in other videos. But right now, this blends right in with my skin. I'm using a large eyeshadow uh, brush and I'm covering my entire lid, including here in the corners. That'll just give a little brightness to the inner corner of the eye. The second color I'm going to use is this color here. It's called Edgy. It looks purpley, blackish, sparkly. Um, it doesn't look that way on me. And I'm going to use this fluffy eyeshadow brush by Mascara. I will share the links to all the products um, in the description box below. I'm going to make a large V uh, from here up to here and all the way across, staying above the ridge where my eyeball is. I'm going to use a swirling motion to keep the edges soft. And here up above, I'm using a windshield wiper type of action. This color is going to add depth to the look. And in some ways soften it so it's not as harsh um, and there's not as much contrast. It'll help the whole look blend. I use this color in every look. It's the perfect substitute for brown for me. Um, that perfect mid color that gives the depth and layering look that we're after that make eyeshadow look so much more interesting. The third color I'm going to use is a simple matte black eyeshadow. And I'm going to use the same brush, but I'm going to use the smaller end. And just get a little bit of color on the brush. I'm going to apply very lightly 
And once again, I'm going to swirl and I'm going to go from the corner of my eye up here to the eyeball ridge with, and stay below the upper part of the edgy color and only come maybe a third of the way over across my eyelid. Always start with less color because you can you can add more, but you can't take it away without starting over. This is an everyday look. And so we're not going for a super dramatic look and that's why we wanna stay very light-handed, especially with the black. So you can see the edgy is up higher here and the black is staying right here on top of my eyeball. I finally got a new blending brush and I threw the other one away. Blend this and soften it. Always blend in toward your eye, not out. The goal is to keep your eyeshadow from this point of your eye to the outer corner of your eyebrow here. You don't want it to come out here and that is why we blend in. We don't want to put it out. If you have trouble controlling your eyeshadow, you can use the tape trick where you use medical tape, stick it to the back of your hand once and then apply it here lightly. It won't have nearly as much adhesive and then you apply your eyeshadow and you can gently pull it off. Don't use scotch tape. Next, I'm going to apply some black eyeliner. This is the Smashbox Always Sharp Coal Liner in Raven. We're going to apply a very thin line along the lash line and then gradually starting about two thirds of the way across, slope it up just a little bit with a very minimal, I wouldn't even call it a cat eye, just a slight slope. I've always loved that more exotic V-shaped eye look and I, I don't have it and this is how I fake it a little bit. I start with the slope about here, two thirds of the way across and I go up and then I fill in the rest. What I really like about this particular eyeliner for lining my upper lids is it has a very fine point, it's self-sharpening, and it glides on really smoothly, so it's easy to get this fine line. At this point, if you want a lighter look, you can be done. Just add your mascara and the look is complete. If you want to take it a little farther, if you have a little more time, um, you can do the next few steps. I like to use this Too Faced Bulletproof 24-Hour Shadow Liner in white lye. My eye rims uh, can be very red and I just use this to line the lower water line, this inner portion, so that I just look a little more awake. Some days it's worse than others. Sometimes I skip this step. They're really not very bad today. If you want to make your lash line look thicker, you can use a black pencil. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Perversion. And you can tight line underneath right here. It'll make your lashes look thicker. I like to use this one because it glides on really easily. I don't like to use it to line my upper lid because it's very chubby, like a crayon. Obviously you can sharpen it, but it never gets that super fine point that the Smashbox pencil gets, and it's just a lot harder to get this very fine line up here. So you can definitely use one for both purposes. I just like to use different ones for the different purposes because it's more convenient and I'm in a hurry. Also because this goes on so easily, 
I'm less likely to poke myself in the eye because I only have to go back and forth one time. It goes very smoothly, I'm not, and I have poked myself in the eye many times. But usually when I was using something different. If you want just a little bit more definition on your lower lash line, you can take the black eyeshadow again and that same brush with the smaller tip, lightly put it a little color on and just brush a little under here and go maybe a quarter to a third of the way across. Very light. This is a daytime look. Of course, if you want to take it into an evening look, you can go a little heavier with the black here. You could go a little heavier with this, though not much. You don't want to look like you got punched. You can also use the, the glide on pencil again and just tight line this inner portion right here, maybe a quarter of the way across, maybe even a little less with this black. It just intensifies the corners a little bit more. At this point, we're ready for mascara. I always curl my lashes. This is the Urban Decay Eyelash Primer. It's called Subversion. It makes a big difference in how thick your eyelashes look. I really like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in black. I, I always wear black. There is a time and a place for using just black eyeshadow and just white eyeshadow. It's a very different look though. It's much um, higher contrast and to me it's more of a nighttime look. This is a softer, more blended look that is perfect for any time, honestly, but uh, I really like it because it's, it's great for daytime, which to be honest is usually the kind of look I'm going for. My need for nighttime looks is minimal. I also love that this look matches everything. It doesn't matter what I'm wearing. If you are not the kind of person who likes to coordinate your makeup with your outfit, which most people don't have time for that, this is a great multi-purpose look. It goes with any lipstick you want to wear. It's not so heavy that a bold lips, lip color looks like too much. To finish up the makeup look, I'm going to apply under eye concealer. I don't have a lot of darkness or discoloration under my eyes, so I don't need to apply it heavily. This is the um, Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer in Very Fair. blend it um, with this brush. You can also use this to clean up the edges of your eyeshadow. If things did get a little out of control right here. And then to set the look I'm going to use a setting powder. This is the Dermablend Professional Loose Setting Powder in Cool Beige. And this will just help your makeup not slide off your face, especially if you have um, oily skin like I do. You wanna do this at the very end in case you have any fallout from the eyeshadow. Fallout is when you get the little speckles down here. You don't want to have already set your makeup and then have that on there. I keep it very light for me. And that is it. This is the finished look. It's really a nice neutral everyday look. It's not too heavy. It's definitely a daytime look. It matches everything. You can wear any lip color you want. You can wear a bold lip color. You can even wear 
lighter, more nude color, but this is perfect for cool skin tones who cannot wear brown eyeshadow like me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe below and I will see you soon.